hello and welcome guys my name is ram and today i'm gonna show you the quick overview video of the employee management system project so let's start it by uh, we have built it so please wait while this progress completes so i think the projects building is done so just go to the employee management system list and run the project So as we see here, so Ram is my username and password is a one two three, right? And login it. So this is the loading page I have created for good lookings. So this is the page of my project. So if you want to exit, you can exit from here. If you want to um, read uh, frequently asked question like uh, how to run this. Uh, and if you want to need some help about this project you can i have uh, you can get fr from youtube so as i as i added in this project to pdf file how to read the help file from from the our project so just click the help file and i have added this as a frequently frequently asked question so you can add any of them so uh, fr for for kindly information i have added this to uh, no for knowledge like and this is this is I have added the time today's time and this uh, date and this is the dynamic time of current so and now now starting from here right now I have to I have to add so add one of my employee like uh, let letters employee ID is three so we have to write four name is X Y Z surname x a is any of them mail department developer shift 3 or oh, 2 and grade pay anything you want to and division supplier division senior developer right uh, and if you want uh, if you want to add image to this for this employee you can add from here right i, I have uh, i have uh, i have attached for uh, attached a code for adding adding image to the database so you can follow all the video to know how to add image to preferred employee id in the database so let's example i am attaching one of image and remember one thing that the image should be in the png format right so just go to employment system images like this one right ram dot png so uh, i have attached now click the save button so this says data has been saved and automatically it will become in the table c and just click and the picture has been shown so this is very very easy to code in this so if you want to delete the one of them you can delete directly from here right click the delete are you sure deleted just delete it right so if you want to update one of detail you can just just put one anything like chan and click the update button so you can update if you want to clear all the detail from the text field you can just click the clear button everything will be cleared if you want to print print the table right just click the print, print button so uh, I, now we uh, i don't have any pr uh, printer connected to the laptop so just i am printing in the document writer just click the print button right so it's showing printing in progress it's taking time so this this spelling where where you want to save this save this so just name it ar save so the save has been done now check it out that that it's really printed or not see here is the ar file just double click see this is actually printed the table so 
so i think you like this so and after that after that there is a if you want to, if you if you have added um, many of employees so you, you need to count just by clicking a button so you can just click the button this this showing total employees 3 if you have added 100 200 so it is uh, critical to count all the employees so just i have added a button to count all of the employee how many employees are there so so after that there is a search search option like i have added only the name you can add anything surname uh, id age department like anything you have, you want to add you can put in the search coding option so as i have added only the name just i am just i am searching one of the name no need to no need to click any button just put the name right like i have putting dev d e v see every detail has been automatically fetched from the database so hope you like this you don't need to put, uh, click any button just just click the name just put the name and don't need to do anything like d like paul automatically all detail will be fetched from the database right now the last thing last thing that is report if if you want to print report of any employee like how how the employee is performing right so you need to need one report to see the employees working or not like this so as i i have made an option for report just click the report button right it's showing uh, some error is showing right file not found uh, wait a second so there is no problem i have uh, i have deleted the logo that's why the, that that problem is coming so just just click any of them and click the report button the, uh, this is showing the report has been saved just, just need to check it out that the report has been saved or not so just go to the folder uh, employee management system there is report so uh, every detail has been come in this so uh, i have uh, used too many colors so it will look go good to the manager example so you can add many of things in the down you can add your picture also by uh, right by here by with the help of quotes as i have uh, shown in the project so so that's all for this project hope you like this if you have if you have a uh, any doubt in this uh, project so you can ask me directly by commenting below and one thing i have attached all the header file uh, header file uh, uh, no not header file all the jar files in the in the second number tutorial in the description i have attached a link so you can download without any hesitation so thank you for watching this video hope you like this if you like this please subscribe my channel and thank you